Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the weapons of hot dogs, horseshoes and hand grenades. Today we're taking a look at uh, this uh, unique futuristic looking thing. This is the Pancor Jackhammer. It is uh, famous for some use in movies and games because of its unique design. However, sadly, in real life, didn't really uh, become anything. So uh, let's start off with uh, a quick history lesson, shall we? So this was designed in the 1980s by John A. Anderson, who started the Pancor company to make this thing. In the end, they made three of these, and he wanted to sell it to civilians and and militaries and all of that. But in the end, he didn't manage. The U.S. Army didn't wasn't interested in the end, and no other armies that were interested were willing to uh, fund its development so it kind of uh, fell out of favor free were made in the end and uh, well nothing more happened it just kind of fizzled out one f another thing that was developed as part of it during the development or after development I can't remember they also made a prototype ish thing of turning this into a landmine in the end none of it uh, really happened and uh, well of the three surviving product of the three made prototypes two were destroyed in test testing so there is only one remaining prototype in existence which is a bit of a shame but it is what it is so what is this game game I, I think we all know what game this is what is this gun it is a semi-auto slash automatic. I can't remember. Remember, semi-automatic. I believe the real version could do semi and full automatic. No, it could only do semi-automatic. Can't recall actually. I think it could only do semi-automatic. Revolver, bulb up, shotgun. As you can see, we pull the trigger. It revolves. So, the magazine. Not the magazine. Ooh, I can't recall. I believe there was a wind-up mecha mechanism involved somewhere. Mm, no, wait. My apologies. It works like the Webley Fosberry. When you shoot, the barrel recoils inside. I don't know if we can see the recoiling barrel. No. Which causes this to rotate. Which... This isn't exactly accurate. It doesn't rotate when you pull the trigger. When you pull the trigger, if I remember correctly, on the real thing, it fires and then it cycles this thing with the cycling of the action. And that's how it works, but Anton simplified it. I just used the revolver code to make this work. It's just a revolver cylinder, which you pop in here, reload, Bit fiddly to get in, and uh, you're ready to shoot. And of course, when uh, you're empty, all of the casings are empty. I'm not sure if you can replace. Yes, you can replace all the casings manually if you wanted to, but uh, easier for us to just grab a new one and uh, go ham. Of course, with this being a revolver, there is no bolt release or anything to worry about, so you can just uh, pop in a new mag and start shooting immediately. I do say new mag, but it's a new cylinder, but whatever. For all intents and purposes, it's a magazine. Can we shoot that far away one? Yeah, we can. Nice. Uh, shotguns aren't that inaccurate. They're not my favorite weapons, though. And uh, the sights on this thing, I'm not uh, quite a fan of it. However, it does have one useful thing, which the real one did not have. 
Let's add a game point site. I believe it works. Yeah, it does. Ta-da! You have a nice little red dot. Bit fiddly to get in still. But yeah, I think uh, that uh, covers the Pancor Jackhammer. It's a... It's a cool little ball pop. If you're not a fan of ball pop. It... It's uh, well, it's a ball pop, so it sucks to be you. But uh, I think it's all right. It uh, has some uh, cool features, being a revolver design and all of that. But I can also see the revolver design, just like with the Vabric Fosberry, could be a major reason why it didn't become a big thing. But yeah, so I do hope you all enjoy, enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and all of that, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.